Can he continue to maintain? Difficult, difficult. difficult. If the JPC asks for it. Difficult for him. Difficult for Why? Him. Because this contains also a laborative one which will expose their own system. Therefore, it cannot be, you know, shared with JPC. Did that is the stand that government is going to take it. No, but will, will that be acceptable? I mean, no, will that JPC. put further questions? In? No, JPC already is in uproar as a result of which uh, Congress members of the committee went to see Pranam Mukherjee late at night. And uh, I think it will be very difficult for them to withhold this information. So the first, of course, hurdle is JPC. The second hurdle is court. Court has already called for Subha Rao's uh, note. note. It may call for other notes as well. So I think now the Pandora's box has been opened. You cannot uh, Hello. stop this. Oh, no, very interestingly, I've just got a, a little email from a member of the JPC who wants his name to be kept uh, completely uh, out. But he's uh, sent me the legal the legal interpretation of the word meaning of seen as in the legal dictionary seen uh, the note of march 25th that was seen by pranam <laughs> mukherjee and it says the word seen evidence act uh, of 1872 section 635 means something more than mere sight of the document the clause clearly <laughs> contemplates the evidence of a person who having seen and examined the document is in a position to give direct evidence of the contents thereof well, uh, so so this comes but, from a very senior member of the JPC who are probably watching our program at this point in time has thought that this is the point of debate. Mr. Mr. Prasad is smiling. Let me say this as a caveat. Mr. Prasad is live right now so can't be sending that email to you. But you have a lot of people, you have a lot of people hacking into your school account tonight, tonight Navika. Let me tell you that. Yes, Mr. Prasad, on legal interpretation, you're a lawyer. You know the well, play of words. Or no, I have already... All, or, or no, I have already told you, being a member of JPC, I have to maintain certain decorum. What I had to say, I have already said that. In the JPC, we will certainly insist for a fair investigation. And we will certainly exercise our right within the JPC deliberations. That's all I have to say. Okay. Well, I, but it or was no, not the final know. meeting. At 7 RCR today, where peace was brokered, the past 24 hours, ever since Prada Mukherjee has been back in the capital, has seen multiple meetings, meetings that helped ease the tension, at least to a certain degree, and helped shape the final semblance of diffusing the crisis. I want to go back to you, Siddharth. What about the Congress Party's complete and utter dependence on Sonia Gandhi? What about the government's dependence on the political negotiating skills of Sonia Gandhi? In fact, I am told, I have not confirmed news, only Mr. Chidambaram can confirm this, that when Pranab Mukherjee had gone to meet Sonia this morning, which was reported in the media, what was not reported in the media also, is that P. Chidambaram was also there. That he came through the back entrance. I don't have a confirmation. Mr. Chidambaram can deny this if it's untrue. But this is one report. So what about Sonia Gandhi in all of this? Well, you know, Sonia Gandhi is still <clears throat> the political brains trust of the Congress party. She is its leader, obviously, its undisputed leader. Uh, and perhaps the only one who has the ability to uh, get everybody to fall in line. Uh, the Prime Minister also has a lot of authority, I suppose, uh, but ultimately in terms of the political management of uh, the uh, party, the coalition, uh, it's always down to Sonia, which is why when she was away, uh, things had the appearance of falling apart. Now that she's ill or indisposed, we don't know what her true condition is. Uh, you know, obviously, this is going to be a subject of great worry for, for the Congress. But I suspect it's she who had the, uh, in a sense, the political wisdom to realize the terrible damage that the, prolong the prolonging of this controversy would exact, would, uh, exact on the Congress party. And, uh, you know, where is it all going to end? I mean, if, if ultimately you're going to blame uh, Mr. Chidambaram or, or hold him to be particularly guilty, uh, as opposed to cabinet being uh, collectively responsible, uh, then you're going to run into all sorts of trouble. And, you know, the point that worries me, Arnab, and I just want to say that even though it takes us a little bit away from the focus of today's debate. You see, I'm a little bit worried about the overall collective uh, stand that the government is going to take as far as the prosecution of this case is concerned. You know, we're, we're seeing different elements, for example, the law ministry uh, weakening the CBI's case uh, against uh, Swan, against against uh, uh, the Anil Ambani group by saying that Swan Telecom, uh, you know, in other words, questioning the CBI's uh, uh, arguments in the charge sheet about the link between Swan and Reliance. Uh, you know, so, so somewhere down the line, I feel that uh, you have uh, the government also perhaps working to undermine 
the uh, the robustness of the prosecution and i think that's something to which we also need to remain very very vigilant uh, in the media mr prasad did you note that pranam mukherjee didn't say that the inferences were non factual or incorrect he distanced himself uh, in fact uh, or no if i can say so personally i have great personal regard for mr pranam mukherjee as a very distinguished politician i have also said that in the parliament but today what he said has saddened me deeply pranam mukherjee is a political leader of 40 years experience a distinguished parliamentarian a seasoned administrator for him to make this kind of observation under pressure impinges upon his own credibility so let me recount today something which is very important what siddhartha stated dr manmohan singh said mr raja is innocent in a september october 2009 he repeated that in july 2010 he is innocent he followed the 2001 policy what happened to raja is too well known mr salman khurshid and a host of others said that this note is nothing by a junior officer it does not say anything at about mr pranam mukherjee never disowned his own statement that he has seen this draft legal interpretations apart till date he has not disowned it on the contrary he has amplified it it is a collective input effort of all including the pmo which clearly indicts mr chidambaram now in this light what siddhartha has stated is a matter of serious worry is there also a collective effort to bail out the accused by weakening the prosecution case this cbi interrogates just one thing and arun shori people of impeccable impeccable integrity having no fault lies at all in the entire location they have been interrogated but mr chidambaram will not and mr pranam mukherjee will be forced to change his position and the prime minister will continue to give certificate of confidence should we presume pranam mukherjee the will have to change his position I, i take your first part i don't understand how you say pranam mukherjee will have to change pranam mukherjee has only said this is my view i am not a player in all of this and just a minute whatever you have heard and i have heard that the inferences are not his views that's what he has stated then the came the great certificate of uh, satisfaction from chidambaram from mr chidambaram that i ex accept the explanation is it an internal matter therefore it is a matter of public interest and or no if i can again recall the great role of your channel in the commonwealth game it is again playing to the same pattern justification no wrong and each day is skeletons keep on coming out coming out tumbling out and this ghost of 2g is not going to spare and they are not learning the right lessons very important is raj gopal is there the dmk was washed out in the tamil nadu election under the stain of 2g you know that people took the money the color tv the cable connection and voted against yet this government is not learning the right lessons therefore we will expose this government all the more campaign the country because i know this government will ensure that a fair investigation is not done that is what the strategy is about i have to thank you at this point i mean ravi uh, mr siddharth do stay on for just a minute i just want to i would draw you in uh, nirja will the big crackdown from 10 janpath come say 2 weeks or 3 weeks from now sonia gandhi would be mighty displeased with what has happened she swallowed this because she doesn't want the government to fall she would choose her own timing to respond uh what what you're saying is a jig around in the cabinet uh, any jig around in the government in the jig arounds in the government as a result of this or do you think status quo continues You know, Sonia Gandhi's style of functioning has been very pragmatic and cautious. Mm. She's not gone for axing people. Mm. And I think one of the reasons uh, why this truce would have come about is also that she would not want to antagonize the number two and the number three in Just government true. because that would take its own toll. These are seasoned people who know how the system works, and they would work it to their advantage. Yeah. So she would want a truce for that reason. Yes. Uh, but that I can believe that she would not be happy with the state of affairs. Absolutely. Certainly. Absolutely. And if you cannot rule out. maybe at a slightly later date that the portfolios hmm may be changed well that that's that's ominous enough for a lot of people